This is an app I created using Tasker Scenes to control my home automation. It communicates directly with Box Commando. The only downside is I can't really transfer it from tablet to tablet because of the dimensions of the screens and everything else, but it works well for setting up a home automation remote control. So I'll give you a quick walkthrough of the app, I guess. So we've got our side menu that uh, allows me to launch into game emulation, launch party mode for my music videos, Pandora, Netflix. Um, like here's in, straight into game emulation. I can move around, select which system I want to play. Um, I've also got the ability to launch music videos in party mode. Uh, then I've got Pandora, which the downside with this is where it really makes it hard to just share the app. Um, in order to do something like this, you actually have to manually put them in. So if I add or remove a station, I have to do it every single time on the tablet as well. Um, but it's worth a little bit of hassle, especially with like Pandora. You're not going to be changing your stations all that frequently. At least I don't. So I can just touch the one I want. And this is using Pandoki, uh, XBMC or Kodi add-on. Now I can also launch into Netflix. Loading Netflix, please wait. Um, I'm using Windows 8.1 Netflix app with a script that's on the Vox Commando forums that allows you to control it with the remote control. Um, I've got Netflix extras, so I can actually come in here, uh, do a direct search of any item. So, let's show you here. And then I just hit search. Searching Netflix for the mediasts. And then once I'm in the screen of either a movie or TV shows, I can also give uh, direct ratings, so I can give it a four star rating. I can also add and remove from my list. I can also browse by genre, go in and I can select a category. Also have basic function of remote control move left and right, up, down, select. Um, really the only two buttons that don't come into play on the app is the record button and hide show watched. And then I also have other functions in here for basic stuff. Um, random extras, so I have play next episode, browse by genre, uh, reset mouse position, my list, discrete exit, and uh, then I also have the ability that I can just select a profile name Loading Hawks profile. Which Please I just wait. just realized I actually selected the profile it's open, so I'll just show you here. I'll select a different profile. Loading chances profile. Please wait. So as you can see it'll switch profiles and everything without any issue. Um, and then I can just simply hit the back button as if I was in XBMC and it brings me right back. That right there is one thing I can't get around. I think it's something to do with when the Windows 8 Netflix app actually closes itself, that it sends an extra click. Um, then I've also got Pseudo TV, uh, Pseudo TV Live, sorry. Um, I went through and I actually have created my own channels, created my own logos for said channels, and also made it to where I can launch uh, the channel. Now, of course, this isn't 100% perfect because I have it timed out and then it enters the channel number as if I press the channel number once Pseudo TV Live loads. But uh, as you can see here, I've got all kinds of channels built in there and I can easily navigate through each one and just select the channel I wanna watch. And then I've also have, uh, the, just go straight into my TV shows, lets me browse through them. I can do the same thing for movies and lets me navigate right through them. And uh, I also have YouTube search, so I can open that up. And 
and search Searching directly in YouTube. YouTube for Josh Turner. And as you can see there, it pulled up Josh Turner at the bottom. Well, I guess you might not be able to tell. I'll go down and just play the first one. So it goes in, does an actual search for Josh Turner in the YouTube channel or plugin. And then I can also do basic stuff. Where is 55 degrees and partly cloudy. Um, I can also go through mute, none mute, which I have a sock mute function instead of a regular mute. Um, I can pull up a number pad so when I'm in Pseudo TV Live, I can actually put in the channel number and press enter. Since I'm not in there, I'll just press and hold enter to terminate the scene. Um, I also have Cinema Experience set up, which I'll give you a quick video of that, I guess. Preparing, we are Marshall for your movie theater experience. All devices have been placed on silent. Enjoy the show. I also went through and added in with my cinema experience command, I added in a push bullet notification that gets sent to all devices. And then I use Tasker to place, using push bullet, I use uh, Tasker to put all devices on silent. And then once the movie is over, it will turn the volume back on on those devices. So that way we don't have any interruptions. And then it will also go through and dim the lights and everything else for me. So it's gonna go through the whole thing. We'll skip past it. Um, that just gives you a quick rundown that I can launch that stuff from there. I also added in up here along the top of the app, I've got battery life, which I'm getting kind of low, date. Uh, I can launch the apps directly, so I can actually launch my Our Groceries app. And as you can see down here in the corner, I have a main menu scene that pops up, so that way it'll take me directly back to the main app. And then I can come through here, and uh, this is my meals list. And I can just hit the main menu button, and now I'm back at the app. Now, my tablet's not rooted, so those apps stay open in the background. But being that this is used for remote, we're not too concerned about it. Um, now we got the right side pane, which gives us the more home control functions. I can simply touch living room, and as you can see there, it turns the light on and off. Um, I also have a home control scene. Now, all the light icons that are on here, as of right now, I only have two rooms that are actually controlled. And that is the living room and the master bedroom on the second floor. But I can just touch the light and it turns the light on and off. I can set the dimmer to whatever brightness I want. And then I can also select color palette. So I can do red. Um, I can switch it over to any color really that's on this palette. I can also turn on disco mode. And then of course I can set it back to white. And then I have control over a couple Wemos. I'm not sure if that sound will show up in the video or not, but I just toggled a fan that sits at the bottom of our stairs. And then I can also jump up to the second floor, which then gives me control of other rooms, bathrooms, bedrooms. And then eventually I'll have my garage tied in with a automatic garage door opener and a patio out back. So that gives me the ability to get full home control. And then for extra commands, um, I can actually turn box commando on and off from my tablet. I can turn the receiver power on and off. I can set volume level uh, for one of the commands that I use. I can select my speakers. Um, really, it's just A and B, but I have it set up for inside speakers and outside speakers. And I can simply just select outside. And it'll automatically rotate through um, using a mathematical pattern. And then I can come back and set it back to inside if I'd like. I also have the ability to uh, do find my phone using push bullet and tasker and then Vox Commando sends out the push bullet notification. Um, I can connect to other XBMCs and Cody's and control them. And then I can also send use send to to send media from one client to another. Uh, let's see, uh, Cody got a couple extra functions in here. I can amplify the volume just by simply scrolling the number up and then select up or down and it'll amplify the volume up or down. 
I've got update XBMC, clean XBMC or Cody, uh, player controls, true full screen, mark item is watched. Um, I can select Pandora outside and it will actually, well, I guess I can show you real quick. No problem. Which Pandora station would you like to listen to? And then of course I just select the station I want. Queuing station, Luke Bryan. And it will cue the station and then it'll switch the speakers to outside for me. And then I can just bring the tablet out with me and I can use it to control it from outside and listen to all the music I want. Um, go ahead and switch the speakers back inside. And then I can also do the same thing with music videos. Of course, I'm not going to see the music videos outside, but that way we can listen to the music that's there. I can take a screenshot, toggle mute, and exit XBMC or Cody uh, from within this section. So this is my app, and uh, hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching.